Hey everybody, welcome back. And today we're going to test to see if the 177 modern day air rifle is about as powerful as a 22 rimfire. Now I can tell you from mathematical perspective, it is not. Due to the fact that your standard load, let's just say standard target load for a 22 long rifle is 40 grains. Out of the muzzle, the claim is 1,070 feet per second, something like that. Either way, my air gun, air rifle, my Crossman Phantom only shoots 7.4 grains at 875 feet per second at the muzzle. So there's a big difference. In all technical terms, at the velocity stated on the box of the 22 long rifle that I'm using, CCI standard velocity, it is eight times more powerful than a 177. So that's probably out of just a rifle, that is not out of a pistol. But either way, I could tell you right now that a 22 firearm powder burner is still going to be more powerful than a 177 or even a 22 air rifle. And it's just because of velocity and the weight of the bullet. You know, you can have a 177 that shoots the 10 grain projectiles and you can have a 22 that shoots the 30 grain projectiles at the same muzzle velocity. The 22 is still going to have more power because it's three times more weight. So, you know, weight versus velocity. Same weight, same velocity, they're the same. But if one weighs more than the other or one's faster than the other, big difference. So today, we're going to be shooting the Crossman Phantom 177 with the Crossman Premier Pointed. And I'm also going to demonstrate in the garage here with a 22 pistol. This is a Phoenix Arms HP 22, I think it's what it's called. HP 22A. And this is a long barrel. So it usually comes with a shorter barrel. The shorter the barrel, the less velocity you're going to get out of a powder burner. But either way, the velocity coming out of this pistol is still going to have more power because of the bullet weight than in a 177 air rifle. So we're going to do a few tests here, and I'm going to show you that even though people claim that these modern day air rifles are as powerful as a 22, they're technically not. But don't get don't get me wrong; they are still dangerous if mishandled improperly, and you know carelessness is at play. But you should always respect whatever you're shooting, whether it's gunpowder involved or air. If a projectile is moving, it doesn't matter what it is. It could be a slingshot, and it could still injure you or kill you. So. Stay tuned with us here, and I'm going to get set up and show you what we're going to do. All right, everybody. So, first off, we're going to test the 177 again. I got a half-inch pine board. A lot of people have been requesting that since I've been shooting the plywood. So, I'm going to put one round in this, and then I'm going to put one round in this 2x4. Solid wood, both of them. So... We're going to shoot that first, and then we'll compare and shoot the 22 at the 2x4 just to show you. And this is going to be a 10 foot away test at the muzzle. So these pellets are going about 810, 815 feet per second at 10 feet. So let's do it. Shot number one. Went all the way through. That's half inch pure wood. It's that powerful, guys. So now, let's do the 2x4.
Shot number two out of there, rifle. Let's check the board. Landed right here. It did not go through. But we will see how far it went in. Let me get a tool here. Okay. So that's about the penetration on those crossmen pointed. That's the back of the pellet right there. Crossman pointed 7.4 grain. We'll do a couple more shots just to get a, a good estimate. Shot, num shot number two. Shot number three. All right, let's see what it did. Didn't fully penetrate. Let's measure. That one's right there. So about a quarter of an inch penetration on a pure two by four. Now let me show you a 22 rimfire. Standard velocity, CCI. Alright guys. That right there just shows proof that a 22 pistol is still powerful, more powerful than a 177 air rifle. It went completely through the board. Two by four, solid wood. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you learned something today that even though Modern day air guns are powerful. They are just not powerful as a 22 rimfire, even out of a pistol. And that's the main reason why I did this test, just to show you that gunpowder is not to be played with, especially rimfire of all things. Um, pistols, like I said, shorter barrel, less velocity, but they still pack of a wallop. It went completely through the 2x4 board compared to the 177 air rifle that was traveling at 875 feet per second at the muzzle and mass you know velocity it all plays an effect so don't get me wrong a 177 can be dangerous and deadly if mishandled or misused but anything is and that just goes to show just because it's a small gun or whatever that does not mean anything so i appreciate you guys watching and if you guys you know have always said that 22s are you know weak or nothing like that it completely went through this two by four they're not to be played with either. They're live cartridges, you know, just like anything else in this world. But uh, I appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If so, give me a thumbs up. I like doing these videos. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.